Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. Well, it would seem that the Australian dollar bullish gains continue as the market pressures the highs around 76.70 resistance. The jobless rate came in at 5.4 yesterday in November, as expected and unchanged from October. But the economy added 61,600 jobs in November, well above the 19,000 as expected. With the resistance still holding the 76.70, I am bearish, but we would need to see a clear cut above 77 cents and also to take out this 60 day moving average. If so, then we could be looking towards 77.60. But before we go there, I still look for a cap and look for a decline back to 76.10 and 75.55. As the US dollar did gain momentum overnight and rebounded in front of that key level at 93.15, the market surges up towards a 90, uh, 93.60 high this morning. It is viewed. That from overnight's rejection of that key resistance level at 118.60 has now turned the attention back to the support after seeing a low of 63 this morning and is holding respectively. It is viewed that this mark this level will go and I'll be looking down towards 116.90. Overnight the ECB or should I say the European Central Bank has left its interest rates and stimulus measures unchanged as it looks ahead to uh, the delicate matter of ending its bond purchase program next year and also endorsed a wait and see approach for its monetary policy. But overall, as I mentioned, I am bearish and I do expect to see the market eventually reach the target of 116.90. Well, Dolly M was a little bit weaker overnight and as it falls closer towards the foundations of a hold where the balls are camped out at 111.50.60. My strategy is to buy dips towards that region as I expect to see a recovery up towards 112.75 and on towards 113.60. The pound was a little bit firmer overnight but failed to take out the resistance at 134.50.70. Overall I do expect to see this level hold and see a return of weakness towards 133.55.60 to 132.60 which is where the base holds. Overnight the Bank of England kept its interest rates at 0.50% and little to say other than the fact that Mark Carney is still keeping a very close watch to the Bank of England, sorry, to the Brexit, not the Bank of England, and still uncertainty of how that's going to turn out. But I'm bearish as long as we maintain at beneath 134.57. Well, over the last three days, the precious yellow metal has um, maintained its. Um, bullish stance since rebounding off 36. With the view still towards the top side of 58 to 62, I expect to see this level cleared and move on towards 70 in the region. Any dips towards 1,249 should be seen as a buy. And to wrap up <coughs> with um, oil, the market is attempting to recapture its bullish uh, sentiment but unlikely to sustain. I am bearish and I am looking towards 54.70 as a target as we maintain beneath this cap that comes in around 58.85.95. So that wraps up for today. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you have an excellent day and a wonderful start to the new weekend.